Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the leave color feature inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and what that is, is whatever clip you have, whatever footage you're working on, say there's a hundred colors in it, right? Or tons of colors and you just want to leave one specific color present in that video. In this video that I'm editing, for example, let's say I want to leave the blues, which are in the sky, right? All I have to do is come over here to effects, type the leaf color, and I'll see the effect right here. Then I just click and drag it on top of my clip. And then all you have to do next is pick the color with the eyedropper tool that you want to leave in the clip. Every other color will be subtracted. And a cool thing to note here is if your clip has this one color in multiple places, like for example, if my shirt is also blue, the sky is blue if my glasses were blue if my phone had a blue case then the effect wouldn't be as cool right so for the purposes of this tutorial while i was filming this video i ensured that the only thing that was blue in the scene was the sky i'm wearing neutral colors all black and that will give me a better effect right so let's go ahead and use the color picker here let me just turn off my cursor highlighter so the yellow doesn't throw it off pick the color picker, come to the blue sky, pick that blue, then over here, come to amount to decolor. Let me just expand this some more and just bring this all the way up to 100%. And you'll see that all the other colors are gone. You can also soften the edges a bit. Let me just hit like 20%. Maybe that's okay. Let's come down to like 12%, right? And you'll notice here that the green in the trees the brown of my skin is already gone, right? You can also mess around with the tolerance some more and see the results that you get. But just like that, you already see that this is where we started and that this is where we ended up. Let me go ahead and press play by hitting space bar and see how it looks. And it looks pretty cool, right? It looks very cool. And it's just a cool little cut or a second angle. If you started out with the normal footage in this color, and then you just switch to like this. You can use this effect in like music videos or any kind of reel that you're working on and you want to get like more artsy with it, right? That's how you can use this effect. And hey, what's even cooler is if you want to edit along with me and practice this yourself, you can go ahead and download this clip using that first link in this video description. And if you don't have Premiere Pro, you can go ahead and use the second link to get Premiere Pro. And that way we can both edit along together. All I have to do to save this now for social media is just come up here to export, choose my file name, choose my settings. If you wanted to change the output settings, all you have to do is go to high quality here under preset and just choose the one that you like. And then when you're okay with everything, you just go ahead and click export. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this tutorial and you wanna see more of my Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials, click right at the screen to check out my Premiere Pro playlist right now.